Welcome back. It's just about 555. After 26 years of coaching basketball at UConn, coach Jim Calhoun is expected to announce his retirement this afternoon. The rumors can finally stop. He's making it official. He's moving on. Kevin Ollie is going to step in and talk about big shoes to fill. Let's bring in Fish from Radio 104 because in addition to playing the music he plays there, he's also done some time at ESPN Radio. He knows his sport. So, Fish, let me ask you this. The legacy of Jim Calhoun, what do you think it's going to be? I think Jim Calhoun is the biggest thing to ever happen to the University of Connecticut and maybe the school's entire history, Chris. He put that school on the map internationally, not to mention, guys, being, besides being the state's highest paid employee, he's a three-time cancer survivor. He may not always have been likable, but the man put University of Connecticut sports and the state of Connecticut on an international stage, and I thank him for that. Bullseye. What do you think about assistant coach Kevin Ollie stepping in? I know that he doesn't have that much experience, but he was someone that the players rallied behind, and perhaps even Coach Calhoun wanted to step in for him. Well, Ali, it's really tough. You never want to be the person to to take the job after the all-time famous person. The people yeah. who followed Howard Stern, the people who have followed Simon Cowell on American Idol have not fared well. But Kevin Ollie, being a former player, being a, had a pretty good NBA career, a decent NBA career, I think players will rally behind him. And let's hope, let's just hope that he can keep the Huskies winning national championships because that's what it's about in college sports. Man. And you got to think that the expectations aren't going to be all that great. I mean, look, you know that the team can't play in postseason basketball this year anyway, and you right. kind of have to think that that may have been part of Jim Calhoun's decision here as well. So maybe the expectations are a little low right now. Maybe Kevin Ali gets a little time to rebuild the program as uh, we look at Jim Calhoun as this great, successful, and very impactful coach. Yeah, he's certainly stoic, Chris, and I, and I think that the fact that UConn can't play postseason basketball this year uh, works in Kevin Ollie's favor. It gives him an extra year to kind of get his feet wet, get the program to a level like where he wants to take it. And I'm excited uh, for Coach Calhoun and his wife, Pat. They've been uh, huge donors up at the UConn Health Center. He's a three-time cancer survivor, yeah. and uh, I wish him a lot of luck in his retirement. And you can bet we're still going to hear from him. He's not walking away from no. the program and never going to talk about Probably basketball Probably see him again. at the games as well. You, in fact, exactly. Of course, we're never going we're never going to stop hearing from Jim Calhoun. <laughs> That's the best part about Coach. Fish, Radio 104, thanks very much. Thanks, guys. Have a good show. Thank you. Have a good morning. Well, coming up next, you will have your headlines on the 8s. And as of today, there's a new burger joint to check out in New Haven. Food talk this morning. Allie couldn't be more excited about this. We'll talk I'm getting about it hungry. Next.